Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters, welcome to Masnabi. Uh, we're at the uh, 11th verse, and the 11th verse of Mevlana Jalalit al uh, Masnabi starts with these Persian words. Nay, again, he's talking about the nay. Nay, harifi harki, ez yare burid. Perde hayesh, perde haye, madrid. In English, we have to thank and be grateful to Professor Nicholson. He translated it, and as he translated it, it runs like this. The reed is the comrade of everyone who has been parted from a friend. Friend with little f or a capital F, capital F. The friend here is Allah, God. The reed is the comrade of everyone who has been parted from a friend is strained, pierced our hearts. Now, let's go back again. We were talking about the nay. In the first verses of Mevlana's Mesnevi, of the 18th verses, we said that a reed, as a symbol, represents in Sunnah Kamil the universal man, the exalted man, the messenger, like Mevlana Jalalit al Rumi. Secondly, the nay, again, represents, signifies the guardian who would lead you to Allah. Follow his footsteps. So the reed is important. Follow the sound of the nay. Follow the breath of the universal man. Now, here again, Mevlana Jalalit Rumi, in other verses of his, in the Mesnevi, he continuously warns us that there are imposters in this path. So we must be careful. He says, beware, beware. Now, in the Divan Kabir, another work of his, a work that he completed before he embarked upon the writing of uh, Mesnevi, he says, he says, and this is very important, I quote from him, my purpose in performing prayer is to find you, you in capital letters again, God Allah. To find Allah, finding Allah, showing the way of finding Allah is the way of the Sufis. Where? In Divan Kabir, I will repeat uh, again, and the second close runs like this My purpose in performing prayer is to find you in my heart, in my heart, so that I am with you. And that I no longer suffer the pain of separation. The pain of separation from the friend. Remember in this verse, the reed is the comrade of everyone who has been parted from a friend. We have been parted from the greatest friend that ever could be in our lives and in our death. And that is Allah. We parted from Allah, came to this world, in order to find Allah and return to Allah with the same love and affection and passion. Passion. Right. Well, Sufism then, Sufism then is the art and science of love to do good deeds in the service of humanity. Here it is important that Mevlana Jalalit Rumi mentions about curtains. What kind of curtains are there? Perde hayesh, perde haye madrid. In other words, there are certain curtains right in front of our eyes or of our hearts so that we cannot contemplate the reality, the truth, the hakika of Allah. It's strains pierced our hearts. The strains of people like Mevlana Jalalit and Rumi, they are piercing our hearts. In other words, they are removing, removing 
the curtains that prohibiting us from seeing or sensing the great providence, the great providence. So Sufism opens the avenues towards Allah. It gives us positive energy and by removing the curtains, it gives us the sight, the divine sight to see Allah. This is the greatest reward that you can get from the universal man, from the name. See you again.